Yeah, now they go. Where'd he go? See? See, that's what happens. That's what happens. Where they at now? They brought everybody out for your boy Cino. They brought the big trooper van. They brought everything out here. They tried to take your boy down. Oh, there they go. I'm gonna try to catch up to him. Now they dipping off. Yeah, go back to Rockford. Go take 90 to O'Hare. There they go. Two trucks. There they go. Yeah, running out of here to state. You and your homeboy. You and your homeboy. There they go. Yeah. You got nothing here, Rev. Yeah, he going towards 90. I knew. I knew. I could tell. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Don't sit there and pull a move like that on me. Oh, no, 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 no. First off, I didn't break the law. Oh, I wish they were still over here. I knew they were headed to 90. They saw this black man is in a Mercedes. What are we going to do? Well, let's pull them over and try to find something. They went that route. Let's pull them over and try to find something. So they could not believe that the that the record that they had no evidence, no proof. Have I been drinking today? I said, yeah, water. You gonna do that, bro? Really? Man, I'm mad. Have you been drinking today? Yeah, some water. They see the thing of Fiji water right here. Sir, we're, you know what I mean. And I said, I answered your question. Water. You see the Fiji in the car. So I'm not trying to be funny. I'm telling you the truth. I meant alcohol, sir. No, I'm drinking water. You asked me, I gave you the answer. Are you trying to be difficult? I just answered your question. So you asked it, I answered it. What's the problem? My license, there's my registration, is the insurance. I Did I ask for your registration? Fine. Well, what do you want to do, officer? What What is the crime? What is What, what am I pulled over for? You were swerving. And I wanted to make sure you were, and I was, I was swerving. Okay, so you're going to write me a ticket for swerving? Just state, just listen to my directions. What's your directions? I'll let you know. Oh, yeah. So... Right away, backup came in another truck. Then we sitting there, and I guess the guy told him, shh, let him go. He's a main nigga. But Sarge, I just got the car. Let him go. Shh. I said let him go. He's a main nigga. Let him go. Sarge, I got his license. I got his registration. And I got his insurance. Can I at least run it? I ran his plate number and everything. Let him go. He's a main nigga. Well, I 
guess you can go. Sorry about the mix up and the trouble and the inconvenience. You know, I'm just letting you know, I'm not harassing you. I'm just doing my job, trying to keep people safe. You have a blessed day. Then the partner behind them, they had to leave. So whatever call they got, Whatever call they got, they had to leave me alone. I don't know what happened, but they probably had a real case on the road, but then they started leaving, and I'm right behind them. And then I got on my phone, I went live, and I started filming. I'm trying to get them on the camera. Like, there they go. There they go. Yep. No, I don't have to lie about stuff like that, buddy. I'm not trying to get shot. I'm not trying to go viral. I'm not, I'm not gonna start pulling out cameras and start sticking them in cops' faces when they already, I'm not gonna start reaching. Be like, oh, let me grab my camera. Bang. The partner behind him shoots my car. I can't have that. I get them after the fact <laughs> and put the camera up. Like, there they go. The two squad cars. Oh, no, I'm not going down like that. No, they, they seen my, the guy already ran the plate and said, look, let this guy go. This guy is a waste of our time. He's not the one. His car is not stolen. He's really driving a Mercedes. He's really... Look, they know. They know. They didn't need my license, registration, and insurance. They asked for that just to screw with you. They can run your plate, and they know right away who you are, everything about you. So they want to make sure it's you that's actually driving the vehicle. So once they look at that license, they already know, okay, this is the person that owns the vehicle. His face matches the driver's license picture. So they know already from that point on, they ain't gotta go back in there and run anything else, do no more checks. Once they look at you and they look at that ID picture, they already know. So all of this other stuff was extra. It was trying to get me to react and be stupid. Something that they could use to get me arrested. But I wasn't born stupid. I look mad sleepy. I'm a little sleepy, but not a lot. I mean, that that whole pullover, you know what I'm saying, with all the climate of everything that's going on, going on that little pullover could have went six to seven different ways. That's how screwed up things is now. You can't trust anything anymore just can't trust him. So 
So I'm glad I get to live to talk about it. Because I, I never dreamed I would be pulled over for swerving. I'm like, if I'm swerving, what everybody else is doing? turn your interior light on which I did so that they could see every move I was making so they won't have any speculation and think I was doing something weird I kept my hands on top of the steering wheel by the time the officer got here I had my license registration and insurance ready to go you got all three so then when he says something stupid is did I ask you for your registration I'm like, didn't, didn't have to make a smart remark. When he asked me what I was drinking, I said water. And I'm like, you asked me what I was, did I have anything to drink? Water. He thought I was trying to be smart with him, you know, pass with the tongue. But I was. I mean, he could see the water in the car. The interior lights on and everything. It's water bottle there. There's water here. It's just water. You know, so his partner standing behind my car and anything, any little movement could have set him off. I was not going to go grab my phone and turn this into a social media nightmare. You know, he reaching for his cell phone. We didn't know what he was reaching for. You know, I, I don't need that. Was he a black and white? These are two white cops. Looked like they live in Naperville. And that looked like exactly where they were heading. They're not very fond of blacks. I can tell you that. Both cops. Him and the partner. So whatever call they got basically told me what was what. I'm glad that I, that I was God giving them that call. Who knows what could happen? But I'm saying, I, I didn't think anything was going to go wrong. I just always follow these procedures. I always do that. I always turn on the interior light. And, you know, some of them, like, I don't know what call he got, but he chilled his chill. So, I guess the, I guess whoever he talked to on the walkie-talkie thing told him, leave him alone. He's a main nigga. Leave him alone. But Sarge, I got his license, his registration. His, I said let him go. All right. <laughs> you can go now. <laughs> Sorry for the inconvenience. <laughs> Midwest made niggas biatch. <laughs> oh man. Uh, no, we didn't have a conversation. When you when you see cops and you can almost smell the racism on them, you just give them the information. There's no need for small talk. Here's my license. Here's my registration. 
Here's my insurance. This is the point of our conversation. What am I pulled over for? Okay, he told me why he's pulling me over for swerving. So I'm gonna get a ticket for swerving? That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, well, here's everything you need. And that's that. I know he did, because before he even pulled me over, he got close enough to try to look in the car. He saw I was black. That's all he needed. Black, Mercedes. Let's see what we got here. you always stay poised, you do what you gotta do, you take your citation or your whatever thing you get and you keep it moving, but we didn't get anything, so whoever told them to let, them, let us go, thank you, I'm thinking they had a real crime or something real going on and they had to get to it. Maybe it's the, getting close to the end of the month, getting close to sweeps.